Hi everyone, this is Marin with Fit Simplify and today we're gonna to be doing a beginner's workout using our Fit Simplify resistance loop bands. So we're gonna take out probably a light or a medium band and this is because if we're not used to it or we're just getting started, we wanna make sure that we're stabilizing all the muscles and doing it with correct form before we add a lot of resistance to it. So grab a light, extra light, medium if you consider yourself pretty strong. And we're gonna start by just doing some isometric arm lifts. So taking the loop band in your hands, we're gonna place our palms in there facing down. You could do this around your wrist if it feels more comfortable to you. So we're gonna take the loop bands and you can see they're slightly narrower than arm width apart. And we're gonna open them till they're about arm width or slightly wider than arm width. This is gonna create a nice isometric hold in your shoulders, arms, lats, upper back, and maybe even a little bit of your traps right here. So take the deep breath, keep those shoulders down, keep the core engaged, you're light on your feet or knees are slightly bent so you're not hyperextending. And then from here, we're gonna take the time to rotate our arms down and up maintaining this nice isometric hold. So we're coming up as high as we can and through the center, passing down. Good. So maybe taking deep breaths, inhaling, exhaling as we come up and maintaining that nice hold. So that's the most important thing is maintaining the hold because we could do this all day and we won't feel anything. But as long as we have that hold and we're moving it up and down, we are now working out the entire upper body throughout the rotation of this motion. After we do that several times, let's say eight to 10 times on that, we're gonna do some band pulls, overhead, mid, and lower. So we're gonna start overhead, keeping the band right where it's at, and just pull them apart, come back. So no longer isometric, we're actually doing repetitions, exhaling as we pull apart, squeezing that core, inhaling as we come together. After we do it overhead, we're gonna come down just like we rotated and then we're gonna open from the bottom. So we're working the muscles from all angles and you're gonna feel a slight difference as you rotate. Lastly, we're coming up to the middle and pulling apart right here. Same form, same posture, same breath. Another 10 reps for each of those. Then we take our bands. We're, we can hold them in our hands or you can drop them on the ground. And we're just gonna do some nice jumping jacks for a nice active rest. Really light and low key like this. Light on our feet, full range of motion, slightly bent arms and knees. And we'll do about 25 to 30 of those before taking a break. Let's go ahead and take our loop bands out and do this set one time together in real time. So taking your bands, placing your palms or wrists inside. Nice isometric hold, come down, up. All the way back down again, that's one rep. So engage that core, squeezing the glutes, inhaling or exhaling as you come up and down with your breath. Check on your bands, make sure you're pressing them out. You're only coming up as far as feels comfortable. If you can raise your arms completely overhead, even better. But really making sure to maintain that focus on pulling the bands apart. Core is engaged, nice solid stance. About halfway there. Your arms are gonna begin to burn. That's exactly what we want. few more. Pull those bands apart and give me one more. Nice big inhale. Wonderful. Shake those shoulders out a bit, raise those arms up and exhale. Exhale. Pull apart. Keep the chin back. So we're gonna really build up that burn in the shoulders and arms, that's what we want. Three more. And last one, good. Coming down to the bottom to give them a little bit of a break. Good, core is tight, engage that whole body. We're moving the arms, but you're really pulling the shoulder blades back, shoulders are down. 
core is tight. Two more. Good. Shake them out again, out into the center. Now you see how I'm controlling the band as it comes back to the center. That's what we want. So it's never just snapping back into place. We have full control the entire time. Three more. Last one. Good, set that band down or hold on to it. Nice jumping jacks to shake this out of our arms. Light and relax. Good, stay light on the feet. Breathe, keep that core engaged. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Wonderful, take yourself a nice 60 to 90 second break. Once you've taken a nice 60 to 90 second break, pause this video or take it back to the front again and repeat the circuit two more times, completing a total of three sets. After three sets, you'll meet me back here for circuit number two to complete this workout. Now what I have here with me is a nice chair because the second part requires us sitting in a seated position. So what we're gonna do is take our bands and we're probably gonna want the neck size up. So go with a light or a medium band this time. And we're gonna place this band around our legs. So bringing them here above our knees, we're gonna sit towards the edge of our chair. Feet are about shoulder width apart or where you feel the bands start to get tight or tense, but not completely out. We just wanna keep them spread apart. Hold on to the sides of your chairs, we're gonna open. So exhale, open. We're really just opening the knees out to the sides, letting them lean out and controlling them back in. So that same nice pull apart, we're doing that with our knees. Good, keeping that core tight. We're still sitting nice and upright. The work is being done at the hips. After these seated clamshells, we're gonna bring our band down to our ankles, spread those ankles about shoulder width apart. And then we're gonna lift one leg up, extending from the knee. So the knee is bent, but we're having an extension at that knee, flexing the foot up, flexing the knee up as much as we can. We're gonna feel that right here at the top of our leg. So we're gonna do one side, and then we're gonna do the other side. If you are beginning or this feels too advanced, like you can't, it's burning too much, you can alternate sides, flexing one foot up, flexing the opposite up. Performing sort of a little march here. From here, we're gonna move the bands back up to the top of our thighs, make them nice and wide, shoulder width apart, come all the way to the edge of the chair. I'm gonna turn my chair to the side so you can see this motion clearly. So see how it's a nice 90 degree angle. We're at the edge of our chair, hands are up, press forward, stand. Then we're gonna come all the way back to a nice sitting position, bringing those hands forward just for nice counterbalance. If you need to place your hands behind your glutes, that's fine just to guide you out. Lean forward, press through those heels, press those hips forward, squeezing the glutes. Keep those knees out nice and wide, then sit yourself back down gently. The most important thing is that the band is staying nice and outward so that your knees are not collapsing in. If you're collapsing your knees in, this can increase your risk for injury. So make sure that they're nice and wide and you're pressing through the heels, pushing your knees out as you stand. So one more time, <sighs> exhaling, coming back down. So let's go ahead and do this together. I'm gonna rotate my chair slightly diagonal so you can see all these exercises. I'm gonna move it back. We're gonna do about 10 reps of each. So feet slightly narrow here, holding onto the chair, exhale, open. And we're controlling it on the way back. So core is engaged. Good. And remember, we've moved up the band size a little bit because our legs are a little bit stronger than our arms. You might feel it in the glutes or in the outside of the thighs, but keep that core engaged. Two more. <sighs> Wonderful. Bring it down to the ankles. You can either do one-sided or alternating. So, up. That's one. <sighs> Two. 
three. Really extend that knee out, four. And try to keep that knee level with this other knee, five. So the extension is really coming from the lower leg. We're not raising the knee up, right? Two more. And last one. Now, if you're switching sides, switch sides. Otherwise, continue to march. And you're gonna keep those feet shoulder width apart, core is engaged, and you're staying nice and upright. That's how we get the full benefits of this exercise. Good, a few more. Awesome leg extensions. Last one. Wonderful. Bring this band right up to the thighs. We're gonna do our sit stands. Make sure those knees are nice and shoulder width apart. Plant those feet nice and firm. Edge of your seat. You can use your hands here for support or hands out to make it a little bit more challenging. Come all the way down nice and gently. Squeeze the hips as you come up. Glutes and core get tight. Exhale. Good. All the way back down. So you really wanna make sure your chair is not gonna slide away from under you. Place it against the wall or on a mat like myself so that it doesn't glide. Keep those knees nice and shoulder width apart, press through the heels. Good, squeeze the glutes. Squeeze that core, pull it in. Three more. Very good, last one. Breathe out and relax. So the wonderful thing is you're here in this chair. You can stay seated, get up, walk around if you'd like, take a nice 60 to 90 second break, just like we did in circuit one. When you're complete from that break, go ahead and pause the video. You can take it back to the beginning of the circuit or just do it on your own. You wanna complete three total sets of this circuit as well, so three times around. We've already done one together, so do two more on your own. And I appreciate you guys for checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed this nice beginner's workout with the Fit Simplify resistance loop bands. Take care, and I'll be seeing you guys around in the next workout.